Reflection to me is an, a very important part of student learning. In a way I perceive reflection to be a timeout, where students detach themselves from the whole obsession and kind of understandably, you know, they're, they're concerned about marks, getting a high distinction or a distinction or something of that sort. But in my view, the reflection is really a tool to detach oneself from that thinking pattern and really think about what did we really learn. So put it all in perspective, think about this particular assignment in context to the overall unit, the, the actual course, and maybe also in context of the overall degree that they're doing. So it's really a tool to detach themselves from the whole uh, grades and marks and so on world and really think about the, the learning itself. How do we actually incorporate uh, reflection in the course? I'm doing so at the undergraduate level and also at the, at the postgraduate level. I'm doing so at Macquarie University, of course, where I teach, but I also teach as a visiting professor in Denmark and I'm also doing a reflection exercise in Europe. I also teach in Hong Kong for Macquarie and I do the same and possibly I'll teach in uh, South Korea in the Asian uh, region as well. So reflection seems to be relevant to different cultures. People in Australia, Australian students so to speak, seem to be getting a benefit from reflection but also students that are international, of an Asian background, North American background, European background, seem to be equally benefiting from reflection. So how do we provide guidance? I collaborate with Dr. Marina Harvey in the Teaching and Learning Center, and we together have designed a fairly structured form where students can, that students can use when they do their reflection. So I'm gonna talk about this in a moment, but we got a very clear structure and check items, if you will, that students can really use as a guiding principle which items to reflect on. Uh, in addition, Marina Harvey comes to my class and talks a tiny bit about the theoretical background of reflection to all my undergraduate and postgraduate students. I myself also introduce my own experience a tiny bit. With time is always the issue. But I talk about my own experience on reflection to my students and that seems to also have a bit of a uh, motivational effect. So the model that Marina Harvey and I have designed uh, requires students to reflect on four areas of learning. The first one would be marketing itself. So my courses are always on marketing and branding. So the question for students specifically would be what have I learned about marketing and branding? So it's a reflection on the actual factual learning if you will. The second component, the second point that we ask students to reflect on is research. Because my courses are research driven, undergraduate and postgraduate levels. So we want students to reflect on the learning in terms of research. For a lot of the undergraduates, research is still a bit of a novelty. It's a learning experience and that also is what we find when we look at their reflections. So it's a learning experience and so it should be. It's not always easy and we can read that when we look at their comments in those uh, feedback forms, let's put it this way. We also ask them to reflect on teamwork. So they have to work in teams, very common at any Western university, probably teams of four, five, six students because the class size is relatively big. So we're facing big teams as well, and students do comment on that issue, positively or negatively, but in any case, we ask students to reflect on teamwork as well. So it's not just about marketing or branding, it's really about the bigger picture of the whole experience, let's put it this way. And last but not least, we ask students to reflect on improvement. So based on the experience, mm -hmm. what should or could be done better next time? And that seems to be a very interesting thought for students that they haven't usually really uh, thought through in, in such great detail.